have to win. Like, we have to keep going. Like, I'm not going to stop. I just know that I want to be faster than the person next to me. It's a grind practices, but it's all worth it. If we encourage each other, our energy is going to stay high. We can get ready. something that I just like it's like my passion and something that makes me happy and like but I'm never stressed out if I play basketball I kind of forget about everything else people overlook girls basketball as it being easier compared to guys basketball but I think it's the same level especially for two different genders you need to be a team player like you have to look for everyone you can't be selfish you really need to be able to take constructive criticism because otherwise it's not going to be good for anyone. There's a lot of times where you might get blocked or you might miss a layup. Like, get back in defense, it's alright. Everyone does it, people in NBA do it. It's a part of the game. So just work hard, make mistakes, shake it off. Don't be down on yourself because of one little thing. I love the team, you know, they encourage me to come and play every day. At first, it was a little discouraging just because it's like, I'm the only senior, you know, so I kind of feel like left out because you got the freshmen, the sophomores, and the juniors all like, you know, they all know each other, they all know how to talk to each other. But my team has made me, like, made me feel very welcome, and I could have asked for a better team. Well, I mean, we're 15 and 4, so by a lot of standards, that's a pretty good year. Every team has things they'd like to do better at for us to achieve some higher level stuff. You know, we know there's still improvements to be made. I think it's been going pretty good. We're mostly looking to win conference against South Milwaukee, which is like in three games. And then from there, we see how far we go into the playoffs. I'm hoping we get pretty close to state. Last year, the team won the title of co-conference champions. They also shared the title with South Milwaukee, making them their rival from the very beginning of this season. For this season, personally, I want to win. We want to win co-conference again. Okay, we, we can get real conference next year if we go for it. I wouldn't really say winning conference would be a challenge because I know we can beat uh, the opponent we're playing against. I would say keeping the motivation to wanting to keep playing throughout the season and getting farther in the playoffs for myself and as well as the girls. So when you play good teams, it's all those things that don't show on the stat sheet. You know, if we can do those things better, we have a more than better chance to win. I think from last year's like winning conference and stuff like that, like definitely boosted up like what they want of us and stuff. Like compared to like boys the whole show is all hype up, like come on, you kinda of suck. So I think just like the winning standards is like well, like being like winning a championship and applying for it is such a big deal. And so they pull some pretty high regards that aspect of it. I think the team has a really good reputation because of last year. I feel like some of them think we suck. Like the boys, like for us, we go to the boys game when we have off a day, but like when they have off, they don't come to our games. I feel like the students think we're just kind of like, we're girls, we're not really good. I think that we're pretty good. I think they know we're pretty good, but I just don't think they care enough to come show up to the games because our student sections are, there's like, like five freshmen there, but I don't even know who they are, so it's just like, and I don't even think they go to watch, I think they just go because they're bored. Like they literally just sit and don't, just they just talk, so it's like, I don't know. But I know they support us, they just don't care enough to come out to the games. Nearing the end of the season, the team had to get ready for their first playoff game against New Berlin West. But despite their high expectations, it didn't go as expected. At our last game, Going into that game, we knew it was going to be rough because they are such, they are a really good team. A lot of us were ready for this season to be kind of over, but like we wanted to go as far as we could. Me personally, I went out and I was like, I'm going to give my like 110%, but I always give out. Obviously, like I'll try and push others, but if they don't want to like give it, that's fine. We mainly lost because there was a lot of confusion. Nobody just understood nothing. Like it was just bad. 
It wasn't it wasn't the girls' fault. It wasn't our fault. I feel like during the season we were kind of negative, but I want people to like look at the positives and look at like having fun. My proudest moments was that like not only did I, but like Maya, we both reached a thousand points, and like obviously like that's a huge achievement for basketball players. And the fact that we did it our junior year, and like not just one of us, but both of us did it. So I think I was like proud of like both of us for that. Next year, I want to win conference so bad. Like, I want to, that's my one goal. Like, no co-conference champions, no second in the conference. I definitely want to be the toughest champion. I want to be like a, I want to be like a conference champion. Yeah. Not like a co-conference, but something like a conference champion. I know in South Milwaukee, like, kind of grim for the rival for like multiple sports. Yes, like, and it's so funny because the girls there are always so nice. And it's not even like Greendale or whatnot anymore, it's literally South Milwaukee. <laughs> like this is our last year. Like I want that to hit as deep as it can, like that's going to be our last year to play all together. Like we've been with each other since sixth grade, but that's it. After that, there's no summer basketball, there's no AU. That's literally the last time we will set foot on a court about playing together. People just don't realize the strength and like athleticism that it takes. I think a lot of people see it as cheering on the sidelines, which definitely we love supporting our other sports, but we have our own competition season too, and there's a lot of work that goes involved in that. There's showmanship, like how you perform with your faces, energy. There's like technique, so it's like pointing toes, like straight legs, and then choreography. That's more for like coach to see, but she's the one who comes up with choreography. We just do the choreography. I think as the years have gone by, the dance team has become more likable as we've grown and shown people that we are successful, especially since this has been one of our most successful seasons yet. We've gotten more people to start realizing that we're talented and good, even though we're a small team of seven. Other teams are bigger than ours. Like other girls, we have like 20 people on their team, and we only have seven. It's like harder to like hide things. It's like you can see everything. Any mistake, it's more obvious than if there's like a bigger team of like 30 girls. <laughs> Greenfield has always been known as like not really being that good of a competition, but I feel like we've definitely like proved ourselves to be better now, so we're definitely more of a threat. I think the team's biggest challenge was having to deal with people leave. This really impacted us, especially because we're such a small team, and so we've had to rework um, choreography and overall just culture of the team, but ultimately we actually became stronger as a team and realized that we're not going to let that stop us. It's a very long season. Um, we have tryouts in usually April or May and we'll be going until whenever basketball wraps up. So I think really the biggest thing is just having that discipline and that passion to want to keep going because it's not something that you're done with in a couple of months. During summer, we attended Badgerette camp, and this was actually our first time qualifying for Badgerette Midwest Championships down in Schwamberg, Illinois. We performed at the Milwaukee Milkman game, and from football games, basketball games. We've placed every time we've been to a competition this season. I would make the state, or at least get like really close to state. We're feeling pretty good. Honestly, it's been a really good season, so we had a competition two weekends ago. Uh, if it was like regional, we would have made the state. So we competed two dances at regionals, our palm routine and our jazz routine. Jazz is more, well first of all, like main, like big difference. Palm, you use palms, like these things, you use these. <laughs> jazz, we do not use those. <laughs> but there's like a, lo a lot of like varieties of jazz where palm is kind of like the same thing, like it's the same style. Or jazz, there can be like different variations of jazz, like miracle jazz and more intense jazz. We competed our palm routine to a different mix of Britney Spears songs. Our jazz routine song was to Landslide by the Chicks. This song really meant a lot to our coach because it's about her grandpa. We competed those routines and we had our best performances we've had all season. We just walked off the floor after our performances feeling so proud, knowing that all of our hard work and 
we showed the crowd what we're capable of as a team. We just finished jazz and we just got swimming and we did so good! We did good in pump and jazz. And we cried many times. We, yeah. We found out that we were one tenth of a point away from going to state in POM. I know when we left regionals there was definitely some disappointment. I think it was kind of a mixed bag when we found out. I think some people were really excited and proud that they got that close because that hasn't happened in years and I think some people were definitely disappointed. We were a tenth of a point away from qualifying for state, which is huge for us, especially since we're so small. And this is, I believe, the closest we've gotten to the qualifying for state in the last, I don't even know, many years. It was one of our best performances of the jazz, especially. So, like, even though I didn't make the state, I'm still happy with how we did as a team. So, I'm looking forward to like, the ending the competition season like that. But we've definitely had a really successful season, and especially this being my third year on the team, it's just really cool to see how far we've grown. This has just really been the best season yet, and it can only get better from here. My advice for anyone trying out is honestly just to go for it. We've had people try out that have had zero dance experience, and then we've had people that have studio dance experience. So really, we're all across the board, but we've improved so much collectively. We're just really an amazing group of girls, and we're just all constantly supported. And so really, I highly suggest if you're interested in trying out, please try out because you seriously will not regret it. It's a lot of fun. Good evening and welcome to South Walk High School for tonight's WIA Regional Boys Basketball Game between the Greenfield Hawks and your South Walk Rockets. We came back down, ended up getting down by three. I took a shot and tied the game. And I missed it. We had to follow because they got the rebound. Their guy stepped over the free throw line, so we got another chance. And then we threw up a play. Sean took the layup, but he wasn't aware that we didn't have any timeouts, so we ended up losing that one. I feel like I'm gonna I'm miss those guys a lot. You know, we created a real brotherhood. Yeah, I'm just sad that it ended the way it did. But I'm happy with our progress, and we're just gonna build off that for next year. I have high expectations for those guys next year. I think they got a great shot to win conference and hopefully make a run in the playoffs next year. I would say the biggest thing for them, if I had to give it advice, is just to stay like focused over the summer, keep creating chemistry over the summer, and working hard for.
I feel like everyone on the team can agree. Like, just wearing that green food jersey, I don't know, there's just like something about it. It's just. They're gonna win conference next year. That's why I think I think they can make a run for state for sure. Just some advice for them is uh, stay locked in. Like, don't take anything for granted. Like, you can work not work hard like a whole bunch of practice in a row, and then that last game's gonna hit, and you'll be like, man, I wish I would have worked hard these practices. You gotta be ready to work every day. And I'm not gonna take no days off, and you gotta just be ready for next year. It's gonna be a show. Trust me. Just make sure y'all tune in. Thank you for watching. It's been a it's been a great ride this season. You guys enjoyed this episode and. Thank you to the team that put this together. They did a great job, so, yeah. It was a good season. I'm just happy that you guys are a part of it. Come on! I like seeing you there. Yo, thank you. Hey, wait till next year. Say chance right here. Say chance. Say chance. Mark my words. Say chance. Mark my words. Say chance. Say chance. Hey, that's a wrap. Love y'all, Greenfield. Yeah, Greenfield on Titan, you know On behalf of everyone who worked on The Hustle, thanks for watching. And thanks to all of our athletes and coaches who let us be a part of their season this year. Each team this year has played to their highest caliber and did their best to make an unforgettable season. But with your love and support, the next season will be even stronger. Next time on The Hustle. Just kidding. There's not going to be a next time. I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> camera. Anything you want to say? Also, I feel like my pits sink. Oh, I'll be back. What? Just say something. Hey. <laughs> oh, so I saved my last name. Sure. Sure. I don't want to say the last name. Don't say it. Yes. Okay, great, because like I don't want to say. Are you recording this? Once they all set, Mr. Tonar, hit the music. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, I'm supposed to answer? Yeah, I'm answering after you. Oh. This cutie looks a little different. We kind of touched on this already, but mm -hmm. what characteristics or skills are necessary in order to be woke? Well, <laughs> I can't do this interview with Ray. The whole starting five, the whole starting lineup played a great game on Friday. That's, we're on a two game win streak right now, so we're about to win tonight and Friday and next Tuesday. What's up? Hey! so childish. You just had a two seconds ago. Shut up! Oh, his coaches don't listen. Straight.
I have a cold and my dad wouldn't let me stay home, so he bought me a jar of cold medicine. Apparently there's a bug on the premises. Oh god. Oh my god, it's not taking good. Like when you're drunk on the water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm done. That's over.